Many of you didn't know that well, but Hobbs had been with me in Park for a good long while now. He, uh, he made this possible, rose this place from the sand. A lot of us thought he was unhinged, unwell, but it's because he's been around for a long while. He's seen the rise and fall of places like this, and from what he told me, he'd run from his fair share of them. This time, this time he didn't run. He stayed. He fought. And we were alive because of him. I wasn't here. Bark wasn't here. He did what he needed to do. He laid down his life, as did the others. Each torch representing them. We will not forget them. And we will not forgive the holy nation. We will remember this day, the blood that was spilt. We live here as free people. And that freedom has a price. As always, I am never keeping you here. If you want to leave, if you want to walk out that gate, be my guest. But staying here, staying here means fighting. If there was any other way, if I could avoid it, I would. But I can't. And if what you say is true, and there's an inquisitor in that tower, if we take him down, take him to the Sheik, we have ourselves a powerful ally. No longer will they demand our food. We won't be invaders to them. We will be brothers and sisters. We will be family. And that family will rise up against the nation. We will pour through their cities like a great tide. The blood of the holy will soak their land. We will be victorious because we have something to fight for. Something to strive for. May the fallen rest. For we cannot. We must. We must prepare. We're going to war. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Raikon here and welcome back to Kenshi. Our team have split off from the funeral that has taken place after the last episode and now, well, now we must prepare to have something of an encounter over here. In between the last episode, Park and Sand have returned and, well, it would seem that there are still some foes out here as Barguk is getting ready to take them out with Stubbs and some of the others. We can see them in the scent here, here trying to get back to their feet and failing terribly at that. It is a time to recover. Most of us have, but there are still others that are injured, some permanently having lost limbs and other things. And no doubt, inside here, something terrible awaits for us. And so, with everyone still feeling the funeral, we're going to allow them a time to relax before we finally finish this thing. And so it is that we wait outside this tower. A tower that is locked. I hope that we are correct and that awaiting us inside here is some horrible fool. Now, we've collected our very best outside of here, and it is going to be Park that's going to be opening things up here. First of all, we are just going to open the door and have it be unlocked. Gary, having just arrived at the last moment here, ideally, we want to try and bring this person outside, perhaps, or maybe inside is going to be better for us. We want to be able to use our numbers, perhaps the bottom floor. We'll see if we can move everyone in for now. It seems Gotaga is coming along for the ride regardless. So far, no sign of anyone or anything. That can change in an instance though. It's not going to take much. The animals won't be able to do anything inside of here though. That's the only issue. Well, I guess it is going to be outside then. Whether or not I can actually hold them all out here, 
that will remain to be seen. I'm going to have them all on hold for now to see if that will actually work. I guess we'll find out as Park slowly makes his way up and inside of here. Let's actually sneak because you're relatively sneaky as we slowly make our way up the stairs. Still nothing. Hmm. Perhaps we are alone. <laughs> no, we are not. No, we are not, Park. There, standing on the stairs, waiting for us, still injured, High Inquisitor Valentina of the Holy Nation. Well, well, well. Now, we could possibly send Sand in here to see if he can... Nope. <laughs> nope. That is a no on the assassination. So, let's see instead if we can get his attention. I'm going to go out of sneak... Park, I want you to stop sneaking. Can I get you to get a hit off? Oh, wow. Okay, now you start to run, Park. Park, please run. He's reeling. He's playing with him. He just struck him once, screaming out. Darkness can only truly be destroyed with fire. It is stubborn. That is, this is how Valentina sounds. Or at least in Park's mind, that's exactly how Valentina sounds. Whether or not the speech will continue. Let's see. Let's wait and see. Hammett, are you attempting to run in here to help? I think you are. No, you're attempting to medic. Park. That I am grateful. Hmm. Okay. I, I believe... They are making their way outside, so let's get ready. The second that they exit, we are going to go off hold. And here we go. <laughs> okay. Get ready to engage, people. Get ready to engage. Park is the first to run up as the others start to move in. We are going to put the attack action on everyone here. A big hit on Park and on Sand. Valentina's hit by Gotaga as a horrible hit. Hits rain right in the chest, knocking them unconscious immediately. And that was Bargak. Bargak is the only person who is on a turret right now. I left them on the turret thinking that we would be okay. Turns out that's not the case. We're going to have to take you off that for now because we cannot allow that to happen again because that could have been a kill shot. That was 124 damage immediately to Rain's stomach. That is a nope. The animals are lashing out now. As Hamlet is rushing in to try and help. All of our animals are doing what they can to take Valentina down Park, waiting to see if he can find an opening. It looks like one of his arms has gone bad. As attack after attack comes in, Duck coming in there with the strike. Hammett as well. They are trying to do what they can. Firebone being hit badly. Long, big strikes coming through here. Sand a little bit too far away to be able to help, and Gotaga falling. Hammett falling. Firebone attempting to take their place. Rage and anger is fueling much of our folk. Now, I could be micromanaging them here, but I want them to be able to have this fight. They've earned it. Ridley coming in there with a good strike. Serve trying to stand their ground. Sand close now. Perhaps he will be able to make a move as Bonnie is struck and an arrow heads from behind. Come on, team. Valentina is weakening. Let's keep an eye on all of this. We cannot hold for much longer. With a volley of strikes coming through, there isn't much left as his left arm is completely torn off. Come on. Just a little longer. Still fighting with just one arm. Valentina is a impressive opponent. But finally, it is Rosie that takes Valentina down. And you know what? We're going to save their life. Because we're going to let the Sheik decide what they want to do with this one. So Park, if you would be so kind, please apply some first aid. As the others quickly receive first aid. We did it. We did it. And as these wounds are healed, Park, I'm going to want you to... Uh, Hmm. Actually, Park, you are going to be standing your ground on this one. Instead, it is going to be sand. First of all, let's loot and make sure that uh, 
they're not going to be able to get back up wearing this. And oh, Barker just ate Valentina's arm. Well, I guess you're not getting that back, are you? The rest of them are standing close by. Sand running back in as quickly as he can. Valentina's going to be out for a good long while. We don't need to worry about this, but uh, we are going to take this weapon. Um, as to where we're going to take it, I think we're just going to stick it into the ground here. Along with the armor, because we do not care about this. We're just going to strip them of what we can. We have the Gurgler's head still in our bag, but we're going to pick up Valentina. And Valentina, we are going to uh, remove from here. So let's go back to our team here. We're going to make sure that everyone is back on their jobs. No one should be on hold, so I think we're okay overall. I'm just going to select jobs for everyone here. Ruka, you're slightly injured and you're aimless at the moment. That's fine. I'm sure you will have something to do soon. Hammett hopefully would be rescued, but you know, seems to be doing fine all the same and so with sand getting a little bit uh, more healing done on others well he's going to be making a journey very very soon something I really haven't had too much of a chance to talk about is our new folk in here are very much part of our war machine now in producing the armor that we are going to need to fight our enemies. Uh, we haven't had too many new sets come through yet, but they are in production and will be out before we know it. With sandwiches in his bag ready to go, Sand is going to be hitting the road. And this is going to be Solo, just running out by himself. We're going to get you running full speed, my friend, as fast as you can. And we are going to be running in the direction of Admag. Admag, where we're going to be able to find the great stone giant who might be able to accept this gift that we have for them. One Valentina. And with that, hopefully we can form an alliance with the Sheik so that we won't have to, you know, just give them our sandwiches anymore, our lunch money, and we can work together with them to undo well, we'll release the grasp that the holy nation has on this world. I would just like to point out how incredibly fast our boy Sanders. He is uh, making huge strides to make it to Admag in time. This boy is serious. He is not messing around. And now is the time to return to Sand. Not long after he had actually left Sand City behind, we are already at the gates of Admag with us, Valentina. Still, I believe, unconscious on the back. Yeah, yeah, still unconscious. That's kind of amazing. Missing their arm and, well, probably in a great deal of pain. Surely, though, there will be more pain to follow. The stone giant, I imagine, has some interesting plans for Valentina. We won't be asking questions, of course, though. We're not here to ask those questions. So let's see if we can track them down. They should be in this building somewhere. Is that them up there? That's Seto. So no. Okay. Who then is Seto? All right, let's have a look and see if we can find you. Sometimes they are asleep. No, Isata, the stone golem. Not the stone giant, I was close. Let's see. Oh, you're snarling at me. Um, okay. All right, well, where's your second in command that we can usually speak to? Um, it can't, it's not Seto. Ah, down here, Bayan. Okay, let's go have a chat to Bayan and see if we have any luck here. Ha. Valentina of the East? Hmm. The one and only. Here. It's a token of our friendship and what we are capable of. Hmm. It really is our most infamous of enemies. Hmm. Speak to a Satakin. She'll be honored by your company. All right, so we shall. Esata, mighty Battleborn. Battleborn, that's got a nice ring to it. Mighty Stone Golem. What will you have of me this day? Hmm. Well, I thought it should be known 
and thought it might be obvious. Based upon my gift to you, I'm going to war with the Phoenix, with the Holy Nation. I didn't want to, but they made it so. We can't just sit back and let them to continue to push to attack our walls. I'm sure the same can be said for you, yeah? <clears throat> you will not fight this fight without the Shek Kingdom. We will fight with you, Battleborn. Setter of Stack is defeated. My warriors continue their war with the surviving Ocranite dogs of the south. Now is our time. The Phoenix will be next. Lead my warriors to the summit, Blister Hill. What a battle it will be. Glory to you, Battleborn. And to you. Huh. Speak with me, Sand. And so we shall. You've fought by my comrade's side long enough. Your gift. Reverence to the Shek. You are no longer an outsider. You are our kin. This day I name you a warrior of Kral, an honorary invincible. Sand the Battleborn. Whoa, okay, we got a lot of shouting going on here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Th thank you? Wow, okay. I am a invincible now. Sand is a invincible now. Well, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, take my daughter Seto. Teach her. Okay. My blood is hers. She will prove her worth to you. Trust. I will uh, watch over her then. She will fight beside me. An honor. Seto. Ah, Seto. Here. Downstairs. Well, hello, Seto. She's still young, I think, for a shek. Not bad, though. Not bad at all. A lot of potential there. Well, for now, Sand. We are going to be bodyguarding Seto. And Seto, well, we've got quite a bit of coin. Perhaps we could get her better equipped before we choose to leave this place. I think that might be wise for us to do. So, well, Seto and Sand, let's get you to move along. Check and see exactly what the armor has in store for us here. But something else that we can have a look at at the same time, and something that we probably should, is the map. As now, the Sheikh settlements, and there's only two major cities, are green. They are allies to us. And we can see enemies out here. Enemies, I think, that are on their way. A retribution of sorts. Well, what can we say? The return for tribute shouldn't be something that actually takes place. I don't believe it will. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. Yeah, we'll stick with that for now. But we should also be able to see that the, uh, wherever they are, the Holy Nation, oh yeah, they full on hate us. They absolutely despise us. And I'm sure that bounty is only going to get bigger as time goes on. But we are fully allied with the Sheikh Kingdom now, which is pretty good. I have to say I'm happy about that. So let's see, Sand, we need to have a chat with the armorer here to see if we're going to be able to get something for Seto something that will fit and we could go ahead and pick up one of these white plate jackets um the value is actually super cheap oh because it's prototype i see of course <laughs> that's why but even uh oh, the shoddy that's that's also shoddy yeah high grade becomes a lot more expensive um it'd be nice if we could pick up something that we don't have access to at home but it doesn't look like that's the case everything else here we can actually make at home i don't know if we have access to the armored rags still or even the mercenary plate because ideally what we would end up doing is probably get something like the armored rags for her to begin with before going to the full plate and stuff like that we could go for samurai armor 
armor, which is pretty intense, but we can see that it does... Yeah, it takes away from your melee attack bonus a fair amount, but it's got pretty good protection overall, and this is something that we can't buy, or rather we can't make at home. So I would be okay with us buying that specifically for her. She has um, leg protection, I believe. So yeah, she's fine for the boots and everything else. She's got her plank. So yeah, that works. Sand is going to run on back towards her, and let's just get trading if we can. Thank you, Seto. Seto and Sand, a new team, it would seem. There we go. Excellent. Now, I guess the only other thing is, uh, yeah, head protection. If we can, let's see. Lots of, yeah, the armor hood, the face plates are probably what we want to end up going for. We could go for an, an armored hood. And, uh, well, I don't think we're going to be selling this off anytime soon because I don't know who's actually going to be able to afford that because it's, uh, it's a lot. Um, the samurai boots are also an option as well. You can see that it does drop your dodge skill by a decent amount, so probably not worth us doing that. She's already got the plate stuff on, so it's not going to be very stealthy. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, I reckon the resistance is actually better on this one. The resistance efficiency is better, but I can't imagine the coverage is as good. It's 75%, whereas this is 90. Hmm. Melee attack and defense bonus goes down. Let's just go for an, an actual face plate. And I think standard is the best that we can get for that. Sure. So we'll actually just swap over to Seto. That'll be a little easier. There we go. Just like that. I'm happy with that. Excellent. So these two need to start making their way back towards our home. Back towards Sand City. And it's going to be a bit of a jog for them. Actually, yeah. It should be Seto that is leading here, and as Sand is bodyguarding, he should be staying close to her side. That's ideally what we're looking for, and we would hope that we're going to be able to beat this group back, as we're pretty fast. I think even Seto is going to be a little quick. We should be faster than a, a group of soldiers marching their way across their land, and well, that's going to be the next thing that you're going to be seeing is this group arriving at Sand City. Will Sand be back in time with Seto, or will Sand have to uh, leave her behind for the time being? We will find out in a moment. Well, we are preparing for our fight, and unfortunately what we're going to have to do here is swap legs with Ruka, because Sad Neil has been in a constant state of dying. Uh, he is now out of that dying state, now that we have a limb for him. A limp. You need to just stay. Sad Neil, stay for now. I know you want to try and help out, but we can't get you helping for now. And Ruka, it's the same thing. Unfortunately, we are going to have to have you staying there for the time being. And just before the others arrive, just in time, Seto has made it back inside, as have Sand. So let's get inside and get these damn gates closed because, oh boy. Look at that. Ain't that a thing. And who do we have leading this? Just an Inquisitor. Okay, so do we have a specific Inquisitor? No. No, we don't. So, well, it looks like they're starting to run out of some of their folk here. Seto, get inside as fast as you can. The door is closed behind. Okay, we have our backup waiting on the other side of this final gate, should the gate fall. We will see what happens. And... The first of the fire is opening up on them. We have all of our team along the side here. The first few have phased through. We're going to go ahead and close this next gate. And now that Seto has made it through onto this side, we're going to close the final gate as well. As the shots ring out, it looks like we have some defenders on the outside. Some Sheik. Some Sheik warriors have come to our aid. Fantastic. As more shots ring out, the warriors that did make it into the zone have been killed very, very quickly. Hopefully our shots will remain true and not hit any of the Sheik that have come to assist us here. But we are going to do our best to take them down from the outside here. We could rush out some of our team, but after how the last fight went, I think we need to keep our smarts to us. If we're in a constant state of healing, there'll be no way for us to be able to lash out against the Holy Nation. This is how we do it the way the Hobbs wanted to do it, using our intelligence, using our technological advances to be able to undo them. And while the Sheik are out here suffering, falling in this fight, we're going to do our best to save them after this. Let's just hope that none of our shots 
accidentally hit them. Their numbers are dropping with one Sheik still standing. We have one of their leaders here rushing through, trying to get to the internal gate, but they are being cut down quickly as they attempt to make their way towards it, unsure whether they're making the best decision trying to attack this gate. They can't seem to quite make up their mind. As some incredibly powerful harpoons tear through what little armor they have, this attack doesn't have much longer. Only a few of them remain, their leaders now on the floor, dead. I think it's safe to say that we've won this little foray. It hasn't declared that finished yet, but nope, there we go. Retribution of God against San City has been defeated. We will try to heal the Sheik that are here. We will strip these men of their weapons. Ah, and just like that, they rise back up, stronger for it. As is San City, the blood of our enemy has been spilled. We have allies now. We have a chance to fight back. And this, this has been a shorter episode, I do realize, but there have been a lot of things actually going on in the background of this series. We have a little bit of recovery to do, but we have a chance now to make a move against our enemies. We'll see if we're going to be able to accomplish it. That's the case. The next episode could be a big one. We prepare to march to war. So please join me in the next. For now, though, I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to our Legion on Patreon, who continue to make this content possible.